Hi everyone. So it seems like um the pocket size file taxes are becoming a lot more popular. Um and I've seen on Facebook a lot of people are asking to see setup videos of how people use them as their main planner. And I actually do use my pocket as a main planner, so I says I would post a quick video. Um this is my purple pocket size Malden and I generally use Malden. I have a couple of other pockets, but I'm trying to get rid of them and just stick with Malden pocket as my main planner. And um, this is the beautiful purple one. And as you can see, I love this. This this is like the very first personal one I got, and then I sold it stupidly, and I've bought two more since trying to replace it, but they've been the pebbly type, and I just haven't felt the same about them. This is a very smooth Malden, and as you can see, it's kind of got a marbled effect to the colouring, and it's just so beautiful. So if I ever manage to find a purple smooth Malden personal size with the kind of marbled effect, I will be jumping on it. Uh, sorry about the, if the charm noise is annoying anyone, but um, it's a beautiful charm. <laughs> it just goes lovely with it. So this is it, and this is my setup. So I just open the cover. I don't use mine as a wallet. A lot of people do, but if you are going to use it as a wallet, this little zipper pocket is great for coins and change and that kind of thing. Um, I don't, so... I don't have a lot of decoration in here. I just have this one cute little um, question mark paper clip. And then I also have my to-do list post-it notes. And they look like that. And I just, they're so cute. I want to get some more of these. They're adorable and super handy. It's still new enough, this pocket. Um, so it doesn't sit perfectly flat, but it will. It will. Um, starting off. I'm going to try and pronounce this. I know people pronounce it differently, but I call them Piaric inserts. Um, I have month and two pages from July 2014 right up until um, December 2015. Um, I ordered them a while ago, but I only wanted a year and a half, so I just went from July. So I'll start using them from next month. Um, so I have month and two pages in here, and then I flick on and I have week on two pages which I've only actually put back in this week I missed it too much and plus I wanted to move completely out of my personal and have everything planner related in here so I have my appointments and stuff and reminders and bills and all that do that in here Um, so that's just back in but I'm delighted to have it back and then I also have Piaric day on two pa two no sorry the day per page inserts Um. So I use these more as like um, a to-do list and uh, I'm getting the Studio L2E um, stamps, uh, the checklist stamps. So I'm going to use them that way. Um, so that should work out quite well as well. I have from May to August in here um, in the day per page. I have from May to December in the week on two pages as well. So it packs a lot. The Malden, the pocket Malden packs a lot. Now the next section I'm not actually going to show you because it's got a lot of private information in it, but that's all it is basically is private information. This section here is my favorite section. It's where I keep a list of all of the parcels I'm waiting on. So at the minute I'm waiting on a few parcels, but it just reminds me what I can expect in the post and what I can be excited about. I just decorate these with just a little bit of washi at the top. And then the last section is expenses. And again, it's PR inserts. Um, and it just works as expenses. It's great. And then at the back, I have just a few of the Martha Stewart sticky things. And then um, just a little open up envelope for a few bits and pieces that I need to keep in there. The only thing about the, the pocket model is the pen loops are very, very small, so I can only just fit like a regular pen in there. Um, I can't even fit my, my um little pink bic with the two colours in, so um, that's a bit disappointing. But apart from that, it works fantastic. And then, I mean, there's a lot in there and it's still not that jam packed. And then I still have room here at the back. I'm using my phone at the moment to film this, but generally I just shove my phone in the back but I mean if you were to use this as a wallet you have a fairly deep pocket in there as well so um, I definitely recommend the Malden if you are considering um, using it as a, you know your your daily planner your actual 
planner as opposed to what I'm using my personal for now. At the minute, I'm using my personal for things like, I still have my month and two pages in it, but I also have like, I use, let me see, I use two days per page and I kind of use that as an, almost like a journal, like what I've done or, you know, things that I've done. I then have a section here that I'm going to write, keep as my food diary, a uh, section here that I'm using for my blog and my YouTube. And then this section here is for stuff that's going out in the mail, stuff that I've sold. And then I also have my lists back there as well as some cards and stuff like that as well. So this is, is basically going to be my stay at home planner because there's nothing in there that I need to have with me as, as such. And um, everything that I need to have with me or that I might need to refer to during the day is in my pocket. So that is how I'm using them at the moment. Um, if you have any questions or if um, you'd like any help, let me know with regard to sections and that. I don't actually have my sections on my tabs because I'm waiting to get some uh, clear labels for my label maker and then I will name them all up. I just love the color of this model. <laughs> anyway, that is how I use my pocket as my daily planner. And uh, I will try and do a more in-depth review as to what I use my personal for later. Uh, thanks so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.